This podcast is the result of my passion for languages and for talking to people. I have conversations with language professionals who are willing to share their experience. We focus on their work, but also on how their love for languages has shaped their personal lives. I started my career as a researcher in terminology, but I found my passion for working directly with clients when I lived in the United States and started working as a language consultant for global companies like Sony, Apple, and Google. When I came back to Europe, I was introduced to the world of LSPs, where I had multiple roles, project manager, vendor manager, and terminologist. Now that I am fully dedicated to my own projects, I provide language services in English and Portuguese, mentoring and consulting for the localization industry, and of course, I'm also a podcaster. Find out more on LinkedIn or Instagram and get in touch if you'd like to explore how I can help you with your project. I am Rita Prazeres Gonçalves, the language worker. Hi, everyone. I am Rita Prazeres Gonçalves, and this is the introduction episode for the Language Worker podcast. I know that usually your introduction episode is the first episode that you record in order to allow your listeners or future listeners to know if this is the right project for them, if they should go ahead and give it a shot or what they should do about it, because the idea would be to tell people what to expect. Well, in this case, this didn't happen. I didn't record an introduction um, episode. And this is because the year 2023 was pretty uncertain for me. And I had a lot of projects and a lot of things on my mind, but most of the ideas were not very solid. So I was kind of afraid of introducing a podcast uh, in such a way that it couldn't actually happen. I was afraid of, you know, technical things that could happen or not being able to get guests or not being able to then deal with the output or, you know, all of those things that your inner saboteur keeps telling you about and that you have to be like very careful to avoid just being frozen by fear. And so that's what happened. I ended up never recording the introduction episode because I was afraid, I admit, that I couldn't actually do you know, walk the walk. <laughs> so I didn't want to talk the talk. But now that it's been a whole year, yes, the podcast was launched a year ago. And now I feel more confident about presenting the project to you. So if you decide to give it a shot, what you can expect is many episodes that might have only one guest, two guests, multiple guests, but all of them will have in common the fact that they work in the language industry in a broad sense. So, of course, we will have professionals who do more classic uh, work in languages, so translators, for example, or writers or copywriters, but we also have language teachers, people who work in the language industry, but they are the agency owners, or they are executives at a company. So as long as you have a strong, solid relationship to the language business, you are a potential guest for the language worker. Because this is exactly my approach to my own language work, right? So I do all sorts of projects, multiple natures, multiple styles, all sorts of things, multiple tasks, activities. And this is how I see not only the future of the industry, but also my future in the industry. So if you think that this is for you, I will be very happy to have you as a listener, or if you really feel so inclined as a guest, who knows? So welcome to Language Worker, and I hope you stick around.